What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel and what we're going to be doing in this video is showing you guys a semi AFK method that we can be using right now with an adversary mode dishing out double cash and double RP. So we're going to be maximizing the payout of money and we're going to be maximizing the payout of RP. This has no requirements except we will need one person to help us. We're not going to need to own any fancy cars or buildings or anything like that. So here we go right here, you guys. In the adversary mode mission, we have four missions right now. They're called Inch by Inch, and I'll be explaining how this job actually works here, this mission that we're going to be doing. So any one of these will work. You guys can choose any one of the four. It doesn't matter. So we're just going to choose this one right here because it looks like I haven't done this one before. And I'll be explaining how exactly we're going to be going semi-AFK here, okay? So we're not going to be having to do a whole lot. We're just basically doing, like, one thing and then going AFK for about five minutes or so. So as soon as we load in here, we'll go ahead and get this started real quick. We'll have one of my friends uh, help me out. Okay, here we go. So this is gonna be the important part right here. Now I have started this off in an invite only session and the reason for that is because when I start up a job, I can set it to seven rounds by starting up an invite only session and then starting up this job. If I try to do this like in a public session, it would probably only give me like four rounds or something like that. So we're definitely gonna need these seven rounds because what we're gonna be doing once again here is going to be the back and forth method, okay? So since I did set it to seven rounds, there's gonna be 13 rounds in total because my friend is gonna win six rounds. I'm gonna win seven rounds. And if you add those two numbers together, that's 13 okay so here we go so this is inch by inch and there's a mechanic in this game mode right here in which we don't get to have npcs will have it and you guys have probably seen npcs do what i'm about to do here in a second so this is inch by inch there's going to be a briefcase in the middle of the map so the idea here is one player on the team is going to grab the briefcase and then you have to make it past the goal and score a point. This is basically all it is. Um, and I was even like explaining to my friend, I go, who would even care about points, right? You have guns? I would be probably just going after kills. Like seriously, just sit at a spawn point and then just wait for somebody to, to try to run across it or something like that. And then you can just shoot them. I don't know. It just seems like a, a game mode that doesn't seem like a lot of people would be playing. And just to go ahead and remind you guys too, so... Rockstar did take away like KD in public sessions. Oh, there's the mechanic right there. I just dove. But dude, PvP stuff still adds on to KD. So if you guys potentially aren't the best PvPer and you went in and tried to do something like this, just regular, you know, potentially what can happen is you're going to get killed a whole bunch of times and your KD is going to get knocked down to nothing. All right, so anyways, from here, you guys, here's the goal right here. So the first round, I'm just gonna go ahead and score a point, right? Just like what I did. And then from here, I'm just gonna go AFK. So if you guys wanna like plug your controller in, put it like upside down or something to where the analog sticks are facing like circular to where your character is just running in a circle. But look at this mechanic right here. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome, right, dude? We get to dive. We didn't even get this mechanic in the game. The NPCs have the diving ability, but it's something that they did not give the players. Maybe they probably had it at one point, but then they just thought it was like maybe a disadvantage or something. I don't know. But if you like dive on the ground, then you can get shot or something like that. Yeah, but if somebody atomizes you, you're going to fly up in the air and you're going to land on the ground anyways. And by the time you're up in the air and by the time you hit the ground, they could switch their guns or something like that. So yeah, you guys, this is going to be very straightforward very simple we're just going back and forth here i'm winning my friend is winning so on and so forth and then also we're waiting the full amount of time here because there is a timer in the bottom right hand corner and that timer is going to let us know how much time we have for the actual round all you have to do is just score one point if you're going to be the winner and then from there once again just go afk by like running around so you don't get kicked for being idle because you can't just stand around and set your controller down because eventually what might happen is you're going to get kicked for being idle usually if you're standing around for like two minutes or something like and you're not moving it'll probably give you a warning saying that we're about to kick you for being idle because this is a system that we put into the game to try to like stop people like you from going afk and earning money 
But, you know, with two people doing what we're doing, this is pretty boring. Watch this. <laughs> I'm on the case! Gravesite's on the case! I got, I got it. All right, here we go. So there's payouts right there. So I won, my friend lost. You guys can get the idea here. It's going to stack up a nice little amount of change here. And then also you can see the RP. I got 2,000 RP for just one round. That's this one round right there. And then also my friend will be the loser, but he's not really losing because he's still going to be getting paid a whole bunch of money here so we're just gonna go ahead and start this up one more time going back and forth yes this can be time consuming but once again this is a semi afk method literally once the round starts just grab the case go turn it in if you're gonna be the person that's winning that round you guys could do it like i'm gonna win six rounds and then you're gonna win six rounds and whoever's gonna get the seventh round is going to be the final winner at that time but once again, you guys, I love this mechanic of just being able to dive or something like that. Can you imagine a car coming towards you or something? And then you're like, huh, and just diving off to the side like the NPCs get to do? What do we get? We get like some sort of roll or something like that. Some sort of somersault roll. I don't, I don't really know, but loving this. All right, you guys, so here we go. Here's the end of it. Let's see how much money I ended up making out of this. $347,290. How much RP? 24,100 and I went too fast. <laughs> but that's a fat chunk of RP and a nice chunk of change just for going into a game mode, taking advantage of the double cash and double RP. And mainly like what I was doing in the background is either like put on a movie, go put on some good music and like do that or something, you know, it's really doesn't involve that much. And you guys can see how much money I ended up making for this. So if you did this like all day long, yeah, you're going to get millions of dollars potentially by doing this. You and your friend just go back and forth, take turns. You know, that's how we get ahead by gamers helping gamers out in the gaming community. So anyways, from there, you guys, if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, leave a comment and thank you guys for watching my name is gravesite and i will see you in the next one so peace <laughs>